It's mornings with Montez and Sherry on 99.9 KGOR. Today we've got Cindy Downing in the studio from whisperinmyear.net. And she's here to do a reading with Tara of Tara's dog, Yankee. Tara, are you ready? I'm ready. Awesome. Tara, I'm going to introduce you to Cindy. Cindy, this is Tara. We're going to be talking about your adorable dog, Yankee. So you got the stage, Cindy. <laughs> Good morning, Tara. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. I got two questions. How old is Yankee? Yankee is 10 years old. 10 years old. So he, it's a male. What kind of dog is he? He is a Yorkie. Oh, we were trying to figure it out. We were like, I what kind of it dog? This. Sherry's right. Okay. So cute. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take three deep breaths together, and then we'll get started. So we're going to breathe in. Okay. And out, and in, and out, and in, and out. Okay. First thing from Yankee, I'm a very busy boy. I'm a very, very busy boy. I almost feel like he's add or ocd like he's he's got to be into everything like my body is shaking right now so he's busy 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 is he yeah <laughs> he, he's like nothing gets by me i'm very busy i gotta know what's in the cupboard who's in the cupboard i gotta know who's at the front door like he's moving all the time yes okay um he's telling me he's cute as a bug does someone say that to him I get told all the time how cute he is. Because <laughs> he's telling me, cute, cute, cute. I'm cute as a bug, lady. Cute as a bug. Um, Sherry and I were making a comment. He looks like he's from Star Wars, and he just corrected me and said, I am not from Star Wars. I'm cute as a bug, lady. <laughs> so do people make the comment about Star Wars in him? No, I haven't had that. <laughs> okay. Maybe he's just letting me know. Okay. Um <laughs> He's telling me that he loves living with you, loves, 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 and he tells me that he makes you laugh. He's here to make you laugh, bring you joy, and make you laugh. Does he make you laugh? Yes, he does. Okay. <laughs> He's telling me that the backyard, it's a mess. Um, has someone dug a hole or something is going on in your backyard? Um, no, I... I'm not sure what's going on in the backyard, but it's, I mean, it's not muddy or anything. Okay. Maybe kind of keep an eye on it. Um, sometimes they tell you things in the future, but he's telling me it's a mess. I feel like he likes to have things clean. And he's telling me, yes, I do. I like to have everything in order. Um, everything has its place and its spot. Um, I always tell people animals are a reflection of their humans, so I don't know if you're like that. Everything's got its place and needs to be where it is, but your dog is like, uh, there's something going on in the backyard, and it's messy back there, according to him. Okay, um, He's we do, telling... We do have construction going on in the house, I, upstairs, so that might be... I don't know if that has anything to do with it. <laughs> do you have any wood or any stuff... From the construction in the backyard? Uh, yeah, there's some wood. There's some wood back there, and that normally wouldn't be there. Never, that might, yeah, that might be it. Okay, because because <laughs> I feel like it's a mess. Like it, there's something that doesn't belong there or hasn't been there. Okay, um, <laughs> he's telling me that he's cute as a bug, but he's also a love bug. And he wants me to tell you that don't think that he wouldn't hurt somebody. I don't know if Yorkies are known to be aggressive or not, but he's telling me, I would um, protect you. I will protect you. So don't think that I will just bark and run away. He's telling me, I will protect you. I feel like he doesn't mm -hmm. like... I feel like he doesn't like the UPS man. And most dogs mm -hmm. don't. But I feel like he really goes nuts. Yeah, he he is very protective. He he's very protective, especially when I'm here. Okay, he is protective. We had our construction guy come, and um, we we know him personally. So anytime I was here, he would react to the guy. But anytime I wasn't here, he was completely fine and would ignore him. Oh, he's so very protective of you. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. He's telling me that he would like to have more treats. Apparently, somebody has cut his treats down. <laughs> and he's showing me that, th- that would be you. Yep. <laughs> now he's asking me why. Why have the treats been cut down? <laughs> he's telling me to stop <laughs> laughing. Why? kisses as we're doing this. So, <laughs> I guess I just, I don't know. I don't know why I cut them down. I guess I just didn't, don't give them to them as often, but I'll give them more. And, and he's telling me today's a new day. Today's a new day. Let's have some more treats instead of um, <laughs> cutting them down. He's showing me that he <laughs> likes cheese and I'm being shown chicken. Huh. Does he get that or did he used to get that um not really cheese but um he might have gotten some chicken here and there before okay it's been a long time you might want to try the cheese i'm being shown orange cheese and um like string cheese i'm also being shown cheese cheese nips cheese it's does someone eat that Cheetos. Oh, Cheetos. Oh, okay. He's licking his lips. Yeah, I like those. But I'm being shown Cheez Its or Cheese Nips. Oh. He's all about this cheese. But he wants you to know he's not fat, so he can have some some snacks. I feel like he really loves food. He's definitely not fat. Okay. He's being very serious with me right now and saying, today's a new day. Like, I would like some more treats. So when we hang up, I think you might want to give him some treats. <laughs> He's telling me that the last time that he was bathed, I feel like he goes somewhere to be bathed. And he's telling me that they put girly, I don't smell on him. He's like, I'm a boy dog <laughs> and I smell like a girl. <laughs> I am. Um... I am his groomer. So. Oh, you're oh. his groomer. What did you put on him? Um, some sugar cookie. <laughs> some what? Sugar cookie cologne. <laughs> and he's putting his paws up and looking at me going, yeah, lady, what the heck is this? No, <laughs> that's a girl smell. <sighs> he He wants like obsession or something. Oh. Or, oh. or, or more male. He he doesn't want to smell like a sugar cookie female. Okay, he's <laughs> he's asking, can we fix that too? It's interesting that animals, when they know they can communicate, then they start making their requests. Well, I'd like more right. food, and I don't want to smell like a girl. Right. Um, he's showing me <laughs> that he likes to lay on the carpet and in the sun. And I'm being shown he likes to lay upside down. Is that correct? Um, he does like the sun. He'll he'll pick out the spots where the sun's coming in. Um, and yeah, there's a rug usually on the back uh, in my salon where when I have the door open, he'll he'll lay there in the sun. Okay. Um, I'm also being told that he's the greeter of the house. So whenever the doorbell rings, he's the first one there. And um, do you have the ring doorbell? We don't. Okay, because I feel like I feel like um, the doorbell doesn't always ring where he can hear it. So that's why I thought you had the ring doorbell. We only have the doorbell in the front of the house. Like, if, if they come to the back of the house, we don't have a doorbell. Oh, so he can't hear the door. Okay. Because I feel like he doesn't always hear the doorbell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does he have a sister dog? No, he don't. Does, is there a female dog that comes to your house? Because he's telling me she's a dingling. <laughs> <laughs> My parents have... <laughs> have female dogs that come the I'll, they come to the house cuz I groom them so he <laughs> sees them cuz he's telling me there's a dingling the female is a dingling <laughs> would would you consider the female a dingling well she's she's very vocal and 
a little crazy. <laughs> and he's shaking his head right now. She's a dingling. Funny. He's telling me he's really, really smart. Um, that he doesn't use his brain enough. I feel like he wants to play more games with you or play, have more activity. Because he's telling me I need to use my brain more instead of just walking he, around and watching everybody. He is very smart. Um, he, I can I can tell him to back up, and he'll back up from the gate. I can tell him to stay. I can lay popcorn out and make him sit, wait, and then he'll take one piece, and then I can get him to sit and wait before he takes the other piece. And but we haven't done that in quite some time, is what he's telling me. Yes, okay. that is correct. He's telling me that he wants to use his brain. He's also telling me you have a picture of him wearing like a clown, um, something around his neck and he looks he's telling me I look stupid um, but it has something to do with a clown scarf or it's almost like a tutu but it's around his neck like a clown ruffle Do you, did you do something like that with him? Um, no maybe in the past because he's telling me yeah you have and I look stupid so, so don't don't put anything like that because he's like, I'm not a clown. I'm a serious dog here. I want respect. <laughs> <laughs> um, he sh- I don't even have a collar on him. <laughs> so he's showing me someone drinks um, soda and to me it looks like it's Diet Pepsi. Is that something somebody drinks in the house? Um, that might be at my mom's. Mm. But we don't we don't really have pop here. Okay. He's showing me diet Pepsi in particular. Hmm. Okay. Um, he wants to be outside. He's asking you to come outside more and he's asking me to have you put the iPad down or your phone down and chat with him more and rub him. He's telling <laughs> me I'd like to have more massages, that you're not doing that for him. Um, and there's something about his Front paws. Do you rub them or massage them? Um, he don't. He's not one that likes his um, other people to really touch his feet. Uh huh. But I can. Okay. So, like, yeah, I'll I'll sit there and I'll pet him and bring my hands down and kind of touch his feet. But he'll kind of pull away from me when I touch his feet a little bit so I figured he didn't like it right okay he's showing me that he would like to have a massage again he loves you dearly and you two are meant to be with one another Aww. and um he'd really like some food <laughs> some treats <laughs> Tara um, thank you, you s- can you ask can you ask him what his most favorite thing is spending time with you spending time with me mm-hmm and then I have, I have one other question to ask for you to ask him, sure. if possible. Sure. Um, I am expecting, and I'm curious what he thinks about the situation, if he understands. Do you that. know, is it a girl? Because he's showing me a little girl. Yes. <laughs> You're awesome. having a princess, and he's telling me there's no competition. It's mommy's little girl, and I'm mommy's little man. Oh. Because he's, I just, I've seen how he is with other kids, and that kind of, I always wondered if it would be different with him. If mm. he's gonna love this baby like he loves me. Because he's telling, I got, I got goosebumps as I'm telling you this. It's gonna be a mini mommy, and I love my mommy. He knows it's a girl. He knows it's a girl. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. That's crucial. that makes me feel good. I was hoping they'd be really good friends. So. Absolutely. Tara, congratulations on the baby coming. When are you due? I'm due um, July 28th. Oh, my goodness. So enjoy the pregnancy. And thank you so much for calling in.